growing up and reading the textbooks and the books that I did, I thought that science writing had always sounded impersonal and to me it seemed like, you know, the voiceover for a really good documentary. But you know how there is this almost omniscient voice and practically every science documentary is like, no, in the universe. It's like there's this completely disembodied, very separate kind of overarching voice. And it's not that voice that does science. I mean, the people who do science are, you know, people like you and me. You make mistakes, you fall in love with ideas, you are frustrated by them. And there's this whole sort of human relationship that you have with your work. And I just think that that kind of, you know, distant voice, you miss out on all of that. Um, again, this is not a textbook, so I did not even attempt to make it exhaustive or to explain every single idea. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized that what I wanted to do was to explain what it feels like to be a scientist. So, you know, to answer that question, which I have been asked so many times over the years, uh, what do you do? Why do you do it? Well, the, the reason I do it is because these ideas thrill me. That, that you know, it gives me uh, an intellectual and an emotional satisfaction. And the only way to show that, I mean, I don't build anything. There's nothing that I can show you and say, you know, look how cool this is. I mean, look at how this works. Um, the only way for me to show you that is to sort of show you a picture of what's going on inside my head. And to me, it seemed like the only way I can do that is through fiction.